so cute. Thanks so much, Jeff, the Twigs and Alloway. I actually had for my wedding cake years ago. I guess I was in before I knew I was in. I did um, fresh strawberries, you know, the fresh ones with the stems and a little bit of flowers on the top, and everyone went crazy over it. So it's, you know, simple, just, you know, thinking about combining the two. Just cute, cute ideas. Well, speaking of cute, a while back our happy cookie lady was here, and she had the cutest, most fun summer dessert. It's um, an ice cream dessert, but it looks like a watermelon. Take a look. Oh boy, do we have a cute dessert for you today. We're going to make a frozen watermelon dessert. It is just so cute for some summertime fun or just whenever, when you want that taste of summer. And we're with the, the happy cookie lady who makes everybody happy with her cookies. This is Christine. Good hey, Christine. Morning. Good to see you. This is a fun one. What are we using here? Well, we're going to have some lime, pineapple, and raspberry sherbet. And together so, we're going to make a frozen watermelon. That's right. <laughs> so we got a nice clear bowl that is freezer proof that can go into the freezer. About a medium sized bowl, I'd say. Yeah, it should hold six cups comfortably. Okay. And we've just got some plastic or saran wrap. And we'll just... line it with the saran wrap that'll make it, in, it getting out um, a lot easier. Now later. this is one of those desserts you need to make ahead of time because yes. it needs to set up in, in the freezer. And we've let our sherbets kind of soften a little bit so that they're a little easier they're to work resting. with. They're resting. They're resting. They're resting. They're resting on the counter. So just get that in there. All right, now we're going to start out with... We're going to take a pint of the lime. Okay. And it's, gonna, it's nice and soft. So, And actually what normally you would be doing is freezing each layer okay. in between. Okay. Um, so this is a whole pint, so I'm going to put this this in there. And then what we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to send it up the sides. Okay. So it's a little putsy, but it's worth it when you see the end. It's so cute. Okay. So we're going to hold the bowl for you. Yeah, I'm just going to move it up the sides, a thin layer like the outside rind would be. Okay. As far as you can, you know, as far as you can spread it. And then again, this would go in the freezer to set up. Right, you'd set it up about a, about an hour, probably um, uncovered like this. Um, make it as even as you can in a circle. We're kind of doing it a little quicker here, but okay. So then you have your lime layer. You'd freeze that. Okay. And then you'd get to your pineapple. Mm. Now you can get um, lemon with this, but okay. I think it tastes better with the the pineapple. Okay. I know my, my grandkids tend to not like the, the lemon, but a lot of adults, like myself, like the lemon, so. So whatever, we just want that kind of that light color, mm -hmm. white or light yellow to, to look like a watermelon. So this is, goes just on top of the green. Like I say, if this was frozen already, the colors wouldn't be blending together, so. And then our last layer, of course, is the watermelon. Yeah, I'm going to fill it in with, with the red. Now we've got some mini chocolate chips. Right, now you can mix, you know, as you're putting the, the red middle in, you can throw a few of those, you know, in, in between the layers. But when you're done, what you want to do is freeze this nice and solid and then um, slice it. And you could also just sprinkle uh, sprinkle them on top of the, we'll the individual in slices. Too. So these are going to act as the seeds. They're Close just the, the mini chocolate chips, mm -hmm. and they're so cute. And then we'll put some more. Yeah, put some more on top of that. And then into the, when this whole thing gets done into the freezer, it needs to set up what at eight least eight hours, few, yeah, yeah, or eight overnight. Hours. Get her out of there. Whoa! You don't need all that. <laughs> we don't need all that. We'll have to eat that. We'll have to eat that. <laughs> yeah, just enough to fill it to the top. There's a little bit more raspberry than the other flavors. Oh, it'll get gobbled up. Yeah. Our crew is hungry, but I'll let you. Basically, you're going to smooth that. Smooth it on nice, and then you're going to cover it and chill it for a good eight hours. And here's what it looked like when it's all done. How cute is that? And the cute thing is, is when you make the slice, see, it's starting to melt a little bit here, but it looks just like a watermelon and tastes even better. Christine, that's so cute. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You can find the recipe for this on our website. Coming up next, the fun with fruit continues. We'll share a recipe for a cherry cheesecake trifle. It's so easy.